afternoon, Liza tried to remember what Anna had told her about spindlers. She got out a notebook and made a little list for herself. Everything I know about spindlers and their habits. After the story itself, the cover of a book is the most important part. That's where the art department comes in. Hi, I'm Kara Petrus. I am the art director here at HarperCollins Children's. And what an art director does is we pick the image that will go on the cover. All the cover really does is it's your one chance to show the whole story in one image. When we have something like the Spindlers, we look at different artists, we decide what would be right, whether it be illustration, photographic, and it's our job as art directors to combine that with the story and pick how the image will then come to life. Every book is different. Um, sometimes we have a very specific idea from our editor or author. Sometimes it's, this is a very unique story. What would you do? And sometimes it's um, kind of a mix of both. You know, it's very collaborative between editorial and my team as far as how we put a face to what this book will look like in the world. For Spindlers, because um, Lauren Oliver had created just this really beautifully ornate world that is so different from anything else that we, we know, we really spent a lot of time trying to find the right pairing of illustrator. Um, we looked at many people, but we eventually settled on Jacopo Bruno. He can create a world that you haven't seen, but you believe that it exists. I gave him a general idea of what we'd like to see on this cover, which was basically we want to see Liza, we want to see her going into this underworld, um, and we want to see what you'll do with that. And what he did was really just to take that little idea and kind of run with it. And what he came back with was something, um, I think, far more magical than even we were expecting. The first sketch we saw from Jacopo was character sketches before he even began the cover, which is part of what made us know he would be right for it, is that he just was so on point with what these characters should look like, what their fashion would be, things like that. And then from there we started developing the actual look of the cover. And where we spent the most time there was really developing what Liza would look like, how we were going to make her come to life in visual form. Um, because again, Lauren had created such a lovely, complex, you know, beautiful character. So in these sketches, the main thing that changes is different ways of looking at Liza. The first step in deciding whether or not a book is going to have interior art is really the age group. Um, teen novels, we tend to not do any interior art. In something like The Spindlers, we did spot art. Spot art is basically a small illustration. It takes up less than half a page. In the case of Spindlers, they're at the chapter heads, which is the first page of every chapter. It's a small portrait, and the reasoning behind that was because we really wanted some of this world left to imagination for the reader so that um, it wasn't predetermined what each and every scene looks like. The way we pick type is really type has mood. You know, a d three different A's can look in different fonts, will look different, will help tell a different story. Um, so when we're picking type for a jacket, it's always how does this type help direct the reader to the tone of this story? How does this design help inform the reader as to the type of story they're getting? You know, Jacopo provided this really beautiful hand-lettered title that we just sort of weren't even expecting and he surprised us with that and we loved it and we ran with it in terms of the other type design finding uh, letter forms that were related or complementary to what he had created for the cover. The idea of what is cool, what is cool in the marketplace, what is cool to our readership, which in this case is kids. Um, we spend a lot of time you know, looking at what other publishers are doing, looking at what other media kids of that age group are interested in and also looking at how we can do something different. Um, I think the ultimate challenge of book design is how do you make something look close enough to something else so that it's in the consumer's comfort zone but unique and different enough so that that book gets its chance to really be its own story and really stand out. We have a manuscript and artwork. Now we're off to the managing editor. 